Hey guys, Jeffrey Phillip here. Today we are back in a kitchen working on a kitchen drawer, one of those chaotic cooking and prep drawers that we all have in our kitchen. They can be really overwhelming to figure out how to bring a little organization to them, but with a couple helpful tools and some tips, it's really super easy. So let's take a look. While the drawer isn't busting at the seams, it's holding quite a hodgepodge of items, ranging from zesters to pot holders, and has no real structure to keep things organized. Today, we're going to change that. I begin by removing everything from the drawer and sorting the items by use and tool type. Our drawer is now empty, so we are going to get started putting stuff back in. The first thing that we're gonna do is actually put a liner down. I like using liners in drawers because it helps to prevent things from like sliding around and just getting all messy again. This liner has tiny perforated squares and requires no cutting for an exact fit, which makes installation a snap. We have our drawer liner down and now we have a beautiful blank canvas to be able to bring some beautiful artistic organization. Next, I'm ready to place the drawer organizer. I particularly like this one for its built-in expander and adjustable compartments. Since organizational needs can change over time, features like these ensure your solutions will evolve in tandem. We've got everything in place and things are looking pretty good. And this side over here you can see is looking good but is a little bit of a mishmash and if we left it this way, most likely it would just get worse. So what I love to do is actually use these expandable dividers to be able to put in and really still create the sections and zones to be able to keep everything in place. So that's what we're gonna do now. Things are looking great. Everything in the drawer is set and looking really good. Now what I've done is I've pulled out all of the duplicates and things that maybe necessarily don't belong in this drawer and put them up here to go through. Pot holders, we have a different spot for those in the kitchen. Appliance cords, we're gonna put that with the actual appliance so that doesn't have to live in this drawer. Things like birthday candles can be moved to another location so they're not in a high use drawer such as this one here. And then we had some other things like duplicates of some of the prep tools. So we took those out and we're gonna either donate them to a family member or to um, Goodwill. We are done. This kitchen drawer is organized and ready for use. We sorted and separated everything based on the type of tool or its use in the kitchen. We then labeled everything so it always goes back to its proper home, meaning this organization should be easy to keep in place. This busy family now has a perfectly functioning drawer so they can whip up some delicious dinners.